yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, say hello, ladies. We back with another author interview with the wonderful Miss Lisa Tate Stevenson. I'm yes. So happy. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to meet you. I read this synopsis and I was like, can't wait, can't wait to discuss and talk about who is this butterfly? Like, who is it? How did we get there? And how did the butterfly get the courage to write about it? Yeah. So, let's just dive in. We can start wherever you want to take me. Oh, my goodness. This book, uh, oof. this, you know, after I wrote this book, I felt uh, afraid, uh, naked, bare, free, light, um, all the things that God chose not to tell me because he you knew I wouldn't write it if he told me that. <laughs> right, correct. No, correct. But um, yeah, yeah. But this book was necessary because where I'm going, this can't come with me. Right. So the title of this book, um, I dreamt it. I, <clears throat> excuse me, I left my home, left my husband in 2010, I want to say. I was sleeping on the couch for two years. It's in the book. Mm -hmm. And while sleeping on the couch, I had a dream and I dreamt the title. I got up, I wrote it down. I went back to sleep. Have you ever heard a butterfly cry? That's awesome. Great. Mm -hmm. But then right. I started to realize, oh, you, you mean me. So I have to write my story. Yeah. See, here's the thing. I'm not doing that because, you know, there's shame and there's guilt and there's pain and there's scars and there's hurt. Mm -hmm. You know, all the things that I stuff down because because the world just sees put together me. Mm -hmm. So now you want me to tell them that I'm, I'm not put together and that, oh, I have broken mo oh, when I cry at night and I don't know, I'm not doing that. We're not doing that. Right. Because yeah. my friends come to me for advice. So right. we're just going to rock out with that facade. And he mm -hmm. was like, yeah, here's the thing. I plan on taking you somewhere and all of that baggage you're walking with. You don't need they to leave with that anymore. Mm -hmm. But we tend to sit in a space of who will I be without the pain. Who will I be without divorced Lisa? Who right. will I be without molested Lisa? Right. He's like, but see, you won't even know your greatness if you keep leading with that because that's Ooh. gone. Come Ooh. on, come on now. You go stir me up here now. Listen, I'm trying to remain professional here. Okay. <laughs> Don't stir me up here. But I'm saying. If, if we gonna go there, let's go. We gonna just let saying. the spirit lead. <laughs> we gonna let the spirit lead. So, so, so yeah. You know, my desire for my future became greater than the pain of my past. Mm. Okay. And yeah, yeah. So I, I weathered and I endured. And, and it finally took someone saying to me, your pain is for your purpose. And it ticked me the heck off because you don't mm. know what I went through. What do you mean? Right. But then I had to learn that I went through all of this so that another wouldn't have to. Right. So that another could realize you're going to make it through, sis, so mm -hmm. that another could see what it looks like on the other side, right. so that another could know you're not walking alone. Mm -hmm. So th this essentially is all my business, all my business. Right, right, <laughs> right. Your whole everything. Yeah. All of it. But, but I love it. It, it goes through um, feeling like the butterfly that's not in, because mm -hmm. it's just in its cocoon. You do not see the butterfly you don't see the potential, right? Uh, you don't see the patterns. Mm -hmm. You don't see the fight. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't see the tears, the prayers, all of that. Right. But in this book, I explain all of it. Everything right. I weathered and endured and went through. And let mm -hmm. me tell you, when you read it, you better have a, a wine, a box of tissues and, and a jar of Vaseline because you're going to want to fight. You want to you want to <laughs> <laughs> One of those. We love one of those. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Oh. But I love it. And it and it takes you through uh, the process of, you know, how we walk it as women, how we um, essentially find peace in the storm. Because mm -hmm. every storm, you don't triumph. You, you learn right. to find peace in it. Right. But then it, it talks about how your sisters like circle around you and bring you through it. Your village, yeah. your village is but really important. Yeah. Yes. If you allow them. Now there is the key. You got to allow them. But then yeah. you got to get to that point where you got to allow them. Yes. Yeah. Um, so in that, in that, in that respect, do you consider yourself an author? Right. Well, like, you know, an author, or is this just a book that 
you had to write to get out your story? Like, was there a part two? Does the butterfly you know, have um, other butterfly friends? <laughs> I um, am actually a six-time author. Oh, yes. 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 Talk so, about that. Um, yeah, I, I, read, I wrote, uh, I started out with it is what it is until it isn't. Mm-hmm. And it was kind of like, you know, tipping my toe in the water and saying, mm-hmm. all right, let me, let me see, getting this mm-hmm. out. And then my son had gone through a horrible year of bullying and he's a gymnast. And he said to me, you know, can I bring my medals to school? And I said, sure. And he says, do you think they'll respect me? And I found respect to be an interesting word for a child so young, not do you think they'll like me? Mm-hmm. But he didn't right. feel he belonged there. He, he right. didn't feel like he was enough. Now, as mm-hmm. a mother, I fed him, I clothed him. He was warm, he was good, but I forgot to instill value. Mm-hmm. But how could I give him something I didn't even have in myself? Right, right. So I started this line, being me is enough. I have one for men, women, children, and the LGBTQ plus community because my daughter is a part of it. Mm -hmm. um so those are my books I do have a follow-up to butterfly it's he ended up with me yeah I will I will tell you the 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 gist of this is that after writing this book um you know God is so awesome he revealed to me the reason your ex-husband treated you the way he did was because you weren't her his heart was tied to another that he thought was Mm. his one. And every time he looked at me, it was a reminder of, but I love her. Mm. Now see, not everybody, not everybody can love the one you with. Some people don't have that ability and he didn't, but it gave me a different compassion for him. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm writing that one um, right now, along with another children's book and a book entitled, I choose me because We need to learn to choose ourselves. We choose everyone else. And while yes. you're frozen. Yeah, you froze. You froze a little bit. You froze. Oh no. You got me. No, I can't hear. I can't hear now. Yeah. Okay, no, oh, I can't hear. I see you. Uh, can you, can hear you me see now? me? I can I hear can you see. a little bit. I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you a little bit better now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're good. We're back. <laughs> and take two. okay (laughs) yes yes okay so yeah um you froze right around right around of um the set your book title so you were writing a children's book and i'm writing a children's book called all about me a to z yes Yes. and i'm actually finishing up another book for women titled i choose me because while we're choosing them and they're choosing them who's choosing us you know we are so it's, it's a, a real question. Day, yes, it's, it's a 30 mm-hmm. day journal where you literally intentionally choose you every day, every part of you, because every part of you adds value. Scars add value mm-hmm. because those scars were sent to destroy you, but you're still standing with them. Wow. So right yeah. here. Mm-hmm. Well, this is, you know, it had to take some type of something for you to come to where you are in the mental the head space, right? Because a lot of people, they give into that, you know? So yeah. I'm so grateful that you are obeying the call to write it out, yes. write it down for the benefit of the rest of us. Yes. So we can all get through <laughs> and know that we're not alone in it. And someone else has gone through it and has successfully been so. So I'm yes. so appreciative of that. Do you have like an Instagram? Where can the people follow you and see you and, you know, Absolutely. meet you and such? Absolutely. So I am authentic underscore author 911 on Instagram. I'm also lifecoach.l-t-a-i-t-t because I'm also a life coach and I'm a podcast host. So let me say, honey, listen, I am wearing all the hats. All the hats. <laughs> You got all the hats, all the hats. <laughs> and you should rightfully so. Listen, yeah. listen, yeah. rightfully so. I'm so excited that we got to meet. Um, mm-hmm. I do have one question though. Yes. If your book, I like to ask my authors, if your book was a movie, yes, who would play like the main lead character? Who would your cast be? 
You know, it's <laughs> so funny you're asking me this. We talk about this at our dinner table with the kids. We talk Come about on, this. Manifestation. Let's Come do on, it. Say, yes. Come on, let's do it. Um, you know, Kimberly Elise would play my character because she has the ability to, to be that small, mm-hmm. but then emerge into this woman mm-hmm. that says, okay, enough. Mm-hmm. I done I done an eight year lies, but let me let me explain something to you. You know, that's a good choice. Yes, Kimberly Elise. Wow. The mm. other characters. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you know, the character that would play my current husband would be um, what is his name? Uh, Flex Flex Alexander. Alexander? Flex Flex Alexander? Alexander. Because he actually looks like him. So I think, <laughs> you know, really sweet, but still that that man and and my ex would be played uh, by Omar Epps because he has the ability to, to come off very harsh and you're looking at the face and they don't need to say words and you're like, okay, I'll back up. You already know what time it is. Mm. Well, go. come on, Glory. You know, we, out, we put it out there where That's two what we are one and two agree. There he is. And yes. this is that. It's happening. So I'm just so glad that we got to meet and I'm glad you. that you got to, you know, I got to see a little bit of the story because I read that uh, synopsis. I was like, ooh, ooh, what is, ooh, how, how did you get through? How did you get through? But I know the secret really is, you know, the Lord Jesus Christ. But like, we we don't have to go down that road. I know. Yeah, yeah. Know. And, and you don't have a choice. You don't have a choice because yes. life doesn't stop. Yes. Right? You have to go. You gotta yeah. do it. Ooh, so, um, Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for and having me. We will be, you know, seeing you soon. I hope we get to meet. I hope you get to, you know, make your way around the circuits and we get Absolutely. to meet you. One of Absolutely. these days. Where are you um, located? I'm in West Orange, New Jersey. I'm coming to see you today. What you mean? Come on. You like right down the street. I'm in Lisbon. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you serious? Yes. I'm right here. You Why need to come. Here? You need to come get your book. Just come get your I book. I need to just come get it. That's it. We gonna get make it. it. And this happened. This is gonna do it. We gonna Absolutely. pray real quick, and then we gonna. And I'm, you can sign a book, and then I'm gonna go back. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, thank you so much for joining us, and ladies, thank you so much for joining us, and this week with Kate Stevenson, and we will see y'all next time. Come yes. on back. We'll see y'all next time. Okay. <laughs>